Yo, 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 what's poppin'? It's your boy Cam the Trucker checking in, man. Like, comment, subscribe. You know, do all that good shit for your boy, man. I'm out here at my um, delivery in Chicago. Um, shit. They only working out of one dock door, so it's another driver in front of me. After they get him, then they're going to start uh, unloading me. And uh, I can be on my way and doing what the fuck I need to do. You dig? But uh, this morning, I got up real early, man. Hey, went to the pilot down the street. Uh, I was about two hours away from this delivery. And um, I had hopped in the shower, you know, did what I need to do. And then I just went on and came over here to the, the deliveries were like 10 minutes from the uh, pilot. So I went in there, I'm, I got there about five this morning, did what I need to do. And I'm up here at seven o'clock AM at this uh, delivery. So like I said, man, uh, this week is, uh, my gross is 9,400. Been running hard, you know, securing the bag, picking them up, putting them down, picking the loads up and putting them motherfuckers down. Uh, there's one thing about this trucking shit, man. If you ain't out here playing and BSing and trying to go home 24 seven and all that shit, you gonna make a bag, man. Especially at this company. Like this one thing I can say about them. I mean, shit, I can't, I can't say this enough about them. Like shit, if you work hard and work and, and they gonna give you your miles and your money and shit, even if you getting paid percentage shit, they gonna make sure you good. As long as you working hard, as long as you making as much money as you can to the truck. I'm a, I'm a by any means type person. Like, man, I get this shit out the mud. Like, shit, this is all I know. I was uh, working in the warehouse before this shit. When I say that was the worst time of my life, I hate it working in a fucking warehouse with an Uncle Tom ass motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? It be your own kind that'll be throwing you under the bus and shit. One thing about this truck and shit, you ain't really got to tolerate shit. You know, whatever you don't want to do. You ain't really got to do, though. So, uh, man, I'm just blessed to be in this situation, man. Uh, blessed just for everything, you know. I just wanted to get on here and let y'all know, you know, what's going on today, man. Um, I'm in Chicago for the weekend. I'm going to go drop my trailer off at the yard. And then um, I'm going to go down to the truck stop in Chicago. And um, basically, you know, do what I need to do for the weekend. Um, my dispatcher, the shit, they been running the shit out of me. I ain't gonna lie, uh, this week I damn near text my dispatch like, bro, take it easy, man. Take it easy on me, man. For real. But the money was just, I was looking and counting. I'm like, oh, shit. You know, the money was too good for me to stop. I couldn't stop. You know, because they were putting them bitches on me back to back. Like, bam, 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 bam. 43, 13, 18, 19. I'm like, damn. Then that shit totaled out to like 9,400. You know? When I got the first $4,300 load, I'm like, all right, bet. That was my first load of the week. I'm like, all right, bet. I'm going to deliver that motherfucker Monday. Shit, I probably gross eight bands this week. You know, boom. Then they found me something real short, 300 miles for like $1,300. i am like, damn, next day delivery. So I'm like, damn, okay, bet. Boom. I deliver that motherfucker. Then I went back damn near to the same spot I went to that I came from and, um, uh, I delivered that motherfucker. That bit was eighteen ninety five. So I'm like, all right, bet this shit looking like about a. I, I was thinking like it was gonna be like an eighty five, eighty five hundred dollar week again, but then they gave me this load going to Chicago. But my dispatch was telling me, man, every load I'm trying to get them short loads for two thousand. But she, he got close. Broker didn't want to give up the hundred dollars for each one of the eight, the one of the eighteen ninety five loads, and then this nineteen ten. They ain't want to give up that hundred dollars. I don't know why them brokers be bushing. But uh, yeah, so the shit, they got close to 2000 Shit, that's 9400 9, So, uh, you know, I'm getting paid 30%, you know, doing the company uh, the company shit. So, shit, that's 2800 That's 2800 coming straight to me. But, man, it's, it's, it's definitely money to be made, man. We just got to go hard with it, man. I, I think, man, if you trying to go home a lot and shit, like, man, just go be local, man. You know, a lot of, a lot of people I be talking to be like, it ain't no money, uh... Being a local driver and shit like that, shit, I know. You dig what I'm saying? But if you want to be home, you know, that, that home time is more important than you go be local. This OTR shit ain't for you. You know, only the strong still gonna survive this shit, you know? So, uh, like I said, man, shit, when I was leasing, shit, I was doing numbers. It's just when the race dropped, I had to get the fuck up out of there. It wasn't making no sense. You know, I'm still kind of scared to really hop back in this damn lease, you know, because the diesel's so high. 
But I'm going to hop back in in January because I know I can do the shit. It's just after the pandemic hit and then I started seeing this shit go on a decline, I just was like, nah, it ain't making sense, shit. It's just I'm, I'm thankful that Nationwide offered all the lease drivers to go company because they was on some shit like, Man, we don't really want to lose these motherfuckers because they they was doing the numbers and shit too evidently. They're like, we really don't want to lose these motherfuckers. So, shit, y'all want to go company? I mean, I was doing good as fuck though. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't when everybody else went company with the lease driver. I'm damn near was the only lease driver that still was leasing. You feel what I'm saying? So, uh, when shit started going bad for me, I'm like, hell, nah, I'm straight. I started seeing my uh like. Total, I was like getting like 1800 take home type of shit after furrow because I paid for my own furrow. And uh, I was like, hell, now I gotta get the fuck up out of here. The thing about it is, the owner had called me about two or three weeks before that, like, hey, Cam, I see how this shit finna go. Man, you wanna go company? I'm like, fuck, nah, I ain't finna do it, do, 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 on some tough shit. And then that shit really beat me in my ass in the long run, but I ain't take no loss from staying uh, lease them extra three weeks but shit it was definitely tough and rough and it was driving in too man i'm driving in, man. i was pulling loads for like a dollar and 90 i'm like god damn mind you fear it was five dollars five five something with my discount i was getting it for like 490 480 or something but this shit still wasn't making no sense you know so um yeah man like i like i said man i can't do number uh thank this company you know for the opportunity and shit like that you know, like I like I, I be trying to tell people like I don't get paid to talk about these folks or nothing like that. I just feel like shit. I'm just trying to give other drivers, you know, the game and the, you know, the knowledge and shit. You know, because a lot of people thinking about coming over to, uh, to Nationwide and shit, they ain't never heard of the company. You know, I when I first started, I never heard of the company. I was scared as a motherfucker to be real. I'm like, man, it's some Russian shit and you know how that Chicago shit. Is. Everybody say Chicago motherfuckers gonna put you in the blender. These Chicago companies gonna put you in the blender. But there's one thing I can't say about these companies. These folks straight, you know? They be uh, having their little bullshit going on sometimes, you know? We gonna argue, we gonna do all that. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't gonna let no motherfucker tell me anything, you know? So, uh, but all in all though, these folks straight, man. I just thank you for the opportunity that they ears let me, you know, do the company and shit. And whenever I wanna go lease, it can be today, it can be tomorrow. They ain't even tripping about it. You dig? So I'm going to ride this shit out to the end of the year. You know, keep going. Keep on getting the bag. Like I said, y'all, I'm going to stay out to November. Uh, November 20, 20th or some shit like that for Thanksgiving. Then I'm going to pop back out, stay out the whole December. Um, I'm going to go home for Christmas. I ain't coming back out to January 1st. And that's when I'm thinking about uh, starting my lease shit. But I'm really kind of skeptical about it because they say the gas price is going to jump back up because uh, OPEC signed a bill about stopping two million barrels of, of diesel or fuel a day or some shit oil a day or something so uh i'm really kind of thinking about it but like i said man all in all everything good you know we still out here securing the bag ninety four hundred dollars gross uh this week and can't do nothing you know what i'm saying now if i was leasing shit man i would have had about six thousand coming to the bank account you know today but i'm gonna uh bag into this door i'm gonna hit y'all up with another video the bag is secured. Your boy. I don't know if y'all can see it. Y'all can't see it or not. But your boy is in the dock. Your boy is in the dock. Today is Friday. Boy gonna get that uh I'm gonna get that check stub later. I'ma post it. Let y'all see that I really gross eighty five hundred dollars this week. I ain't gonna post how much I got paid from that. I'm just gonna post. Y'all gonna see the loads that I pulled and stuff. And so y'all know that your boy ain't lying. I'm not like most of these YouTube drivers that be lying and faking and flogging. You know, that shit is just not in me. I'm a realist. I keep it real. I don't want to lie to nobody because I don't want nobody to lie to me. You dig what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah. The bag secured. Your boy in the dock. It's like 7.39 in the morning on Friday. I don't know what today is, but I'm dropping this video today. I'm dropping this video right now. So, man, everybody be blessed and have a safe and pleasant day and a happy Friday. Hope that direct deposit hits your account and it be a couple thousand in that motherfucker. You dig? Salute.